Hey guys, Freediver HD here. And it's been three years since I put a lot of uh, gear reviews on my freediving channel, and I got a lot of new subscribers asking me what kind of gear I use. So I thought I'd make a new video in 2016 just to show you everything that I have. Now, today I'm going to show you my cold water gear. There it is. That's all my cold water gear, and I use it here in South Africa where the diving temperatures can be anything from around 7 to around 14 degrees C. Okay, so I'm going to start off first with looking at my fins. Now, these are C4 flaps. I think most of you guys will know my C4 falcons uh, that I've used since I started, but I also have a pair of flaps. Flaps are different as in they've got this uh, flap design at the end of the fin. The flap is supposed to be more hydrodynamic, but it also catches rocks a lot easier. So on shallow rocky shore dives, this flap tends to get quite damaged. Uh, the concave design is a little bit more resistant to damage, but better yet, if you're going to be doing rocky shore dives, actually plastic fins uh, are the best to get. These carbons are not ideal for what I'm doing here. But there's still some features about this fin that I really, really like. Uh, the rails on the C4 flaps, they really channel the water uh, really well straight down the fin, so direct power, the water doesn't kind of escape over the sides. Um, also, the narrowness of this fin. This fin is a very, very narrow design. It's 19 or 19.5 centimeters. So that means your kicking force, it's channeled straight down. It's not spread over, over a wide area. And uh, you don't have to kind of keep your legs more apart when you're kicking to stop the fins kind of knocking each, into each other when they kick. So that's why I like the narrow design of the C4s. Uh, on my C4s, I've got the Omer Millennium Pockets, which are the standard foot pockets for this fin. However, they have been discontinued, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use uh, in the future. All right, moving on from the fins, let's go have a look what's next. Booties. These booties are 3 mil. I'm moving on to my weight belt. On this belt, I've got 5 kilograms of weight. Uh, for my five kilogram wetsuit. When I'm in tropical waters and I'm using my two millimeter suit, I generally use two kilograms of weight. Okay, moving on to my mask. I think most of you know I use the Aqualung Sphera mask. It has really great vision and it's really easy to equalize. However, it's not that durable. They don't last forever and after two or three years, they generally need to be replaced but they're still a good mask. As for the snorkel, this is a freediving snorkel. Uh, freediving snorkels, this one has a bit of an oval shape, so the water kind of passes by a little bit easier, it's a little bit more hydrodynamic, and just a simple mouthpiece on the bottom. It doesn't have any clearance valve or anything like that. Freediving snorkels are generally really simple in design. They're also really quite, quite flexible. So that's my snorkel. This snorkel is a no-name brand uh, freediving snorkel. So sorry, I can't give you a recommendation on that. Let's move on to my gloves. So when you're buying gloves, I said these were 2 mil gloves. Now 2 mil might sound uh, a little bit thin for cold water environments. But the thing is, the thinner the glove, the easier it is to have full use of your hands. So 2 mils press all your camera buttons, equalize your nose, uh, and just work with your hands. At three mils, it gets harder, and at five mils, it's pretty difficult uh, to move your hand with five mil gloves. So that's why I choose to use two mil. Uh, I, I sacrifice the warmth. Uh, they are still warm, but I sacrifice the warmth to get more maneuverability in my hands. All right, now let's move on to my wetsuit. Now, this is the part where I differ a bit from the mainstream freediving community. Please, if you want to go and get a freediving suit, go and do it. Don't follow my advice here. Completely ignore my advice. What I'm going to tell you now is just my personal feelings on wetsuits. And that is that I just don't like freediving wetsuits. You will never see me in one. I don't like the beaver tail design. I don't think open cell is very convenient to get into or out of. I personally don't believe it actually keeps you warmer. I believe surf suits have their own ways and their own different linings which also keep you warm. So 
I'm, I prefer the durability of a surf suit as opposed to the f how fragile open cell is and how difficult it is to get in and out of. Don't like camo. I, I don't need a. I don't like ca yeah. I don't like camo design because I'm not a spearfisher. I'm a free diver. I don't need the reloading pad that a lot of free diving suits have, and I'm also not a fan of the uh, smooth skin free diving suits. I know not all free diving s suits are smooth skin, but the friends that I have who are using smooth skin. You know it's not too long that their suits are pretty much destroyed on the rocks so surfing suits for me are the most durable and most convenient suits and they're also pretty warm so let's take a look all right so this particular suit this is a 543 sealed so what that means is it's got five mil on the chest and the legs uh four mil on the lower legs and three mil on the arms and because it's one piece there's no part of the suit that overlaps like in a free diving suit where you have a long john you know and the top and you have that overlapping this doesn't have any overlapping so it's actually a lot less neoprene which means i potentially need to carry less weights with me which is great for when i'm traveling it's also another reason why i use uh, surfing wetsuits this wetsuit is made out of a material called super flex so it is a very very stretchy wetsuit and it fits your body kind of like a glove there's no uh, places where water will pool in this wetsuit uh, it fits skin tight and uh, it's also really easy to get sizes in these wetsuits and then for free diving suits you really need to check your shoulder your shoulder size your waist size um, you know all the different measurements uh, but for free diving, I mean, for surfing wetsuits, you can generally just buy them based on your height. So they're much easier to buy online. And that's actually a big reason why I went back to these suits. The zip is on the chest, which means I don't have a beaver tail. On the back, there's no zip. Uh, if you have the zip along the back, then you lose the stretch along the back. You feel that when you are duck diving. So that's why I've gone with the uh, chest design model. Also some extra features like a really durable knee pads so you won't be wearing through the knees anytime soon. And this suit is glued and blind stitched. Uh, a flat lock stitch is a, is a tropical stitch that lets water pass through the needle holes. But a blind stitch doesn't penetrate the, the uh, neoprene all the way through. So no water can pass through the stitching holes. And once it's stitched, uh, sorry, the, the seam is glued and then it's stitched. Uh, on high-end surfing suits, you'll also see them liquid tape the seams to make them even more durable. But this suit doesn't have that feature. Another thing I like is I've got the key holder in there so I can keep my car key with me. I don't need to hide it anywhere. Uh, on the inside of the suit, like I was just saying just now about uh, the whole uh, open cell thing, this suit has got something called the furnace lining. It's a thermal lining uh, that Billabong claims keeps you warm. This suit, by the way, this is a this is a two this is a 2011 Billabong foil. So I've had this suit for five years and it's still going well. Let's move up here to the hood. The hood is three millimeters, also has a furnace lining uh, on the inside. It's kind of like a woolly, a woolly lining. And when I don't want to use the hood, I just take it off. So I quite like that. All right, and lastly, let's look at my inner garments. This is a thermal vest. It's kind of like a fire skin type material. And I put this underneath my wetsuit on really really cold days like when it's like seven degrees then I'll be using the thermal vest and last undergarment is my speedo hope you guys enjoyed the video and for my subscribers I'll see you guys in the next video cheers bye bye